It was a tremendously important game and everybody was watching. Monday night during a matchup between the Buffalo Bills and Cincinnati Bengals, Bills safety DeMar Hamlin collapsed. Emergency crews rushed onto the field, performed CPR and used a defibrillator, all unprecedented during an NFL game. Players taking knees, holding hands and praying. When you see something like that happen in sports and we've seen it happen before, they all of a sudden uh, transform from football players into just, you know, people. Western Mass Media personality and former Western Mass News sports reporter Scott Cohen saying something like this tugs at your humanity. They're not just these uh, superhuman guys with, you know, wearing helmets and have their names and numbers on their back. You thought about this 24 year old young man who seemingly has, you know, uh, the world in the palm of his hand and all of a sudden that's snatched away and then you think about him and his family and his mom who I guess was at the game. So the human element automatically takes over. After the ambulance left, no one started warming up and players refused to continue playing. In recent years, it's become uh, a player's league. This marks the first time an NFL game has been suspended indefinitely because of an injury. The only time that the NFL ever canceled any games was for 9-11 and that was just, you know, a monumental worldwide event. There was was a fellow Mike Utley who played for the Detroit Lions in 1990. He was paralyzed on the field during the game and they continued the game. And Cohen says the NFL is evolving and ultimately made the right decision. But he believes everyone had a voice in this. With social media, um, Twitter, and all of a sudden when something happens, the immediacy of people's voices are heard and the NFL they, they heard the voice and they knew what they would be in store for if they didn't do what they did.